Hey friends, this is Josh Hayward and welcome to another edition of the Find Your Craft Show. I've got a great beer for you guys this evening from the famous Green Man Brewing Company out of Asheville, North Carolina. Asheville is quickly becoming one of the hot spots of craft beer, I should say. At least on the East Coast, you've got the likes of Sierra Nevada, New Belgium, Green Man, uh, Wicked Weed before the buyout, uh, High Wire, uh, just a lot of phenomenal, great craft breweries there in Asheville, and Green Man is definitely holding their own. This is their their, their flagship IPA, actually, and this one is 63 IBUs, 6.2% ABV. So really looking forward to this beer. I've had a few things from Green Man. Not sure if I've had the flagship IPA, though. How bad is that, right? Uh, but yeah, this is a... Uh, Green Man is doing some great things. I believe I've got, I've got a, uh, a Goza in the fridge as well that uh, I'll be reviewing here soon as well. So we'll be able to try something on the the pale, or the IPA family and then something on the, the another family there. So yeah, this electric can. Legendary Ales, do what you can. And then conceived in Asheville, North Carolina. Pretty sharp, good stuff. So yeah, here we go. We got a beautiful IPA here. Standard golden color, deep golden color. I love it. A nice strong head on there without even a swirl on the glass. Looks great. Uh, I'd say a centimeter and a half there. Just looking real good. Uh, I would say uh, translucent would be the, the best term to describe this. Uh, you can see a little bit of light through that glass, but not much. A little bit lighter in the golden color towards the bottom. Um, more deep there um, towards the middle of the glass and then even getting towards the top. But uh, yeah, beautiful beer here. Uh, just looks like it's your standard IPA. Let's see what we've got on the nose. Getting a little bit of maltiness in on the nose, which is nice. Getting some fresh hop aromas as well. Nothing too forward. Um, a lot of times, some of these IPAs, you have kind of one thing or another really jumping out at you. Can't say I'm getting a too. Can't say I'm getting a ton of stuff jumping out at me here. Just some fresh hop aromas. Um, you can. It's like a, a almost like a. Fresh, fresh grassy, fresh herbal type aroma. And yeah, a little bit of sweetness, I think. So without further ado, let's see what we've got. Cheers. That's pretty solid. Not a bad beer. Um, I was trying to think of IPAs on the IPA spectrum. Um... This is a solid IPA for sure. Um, it's not as hot forward as some of your West Coast styles, but it's not as malt forward as some of the East Coast styles, if that helps you out a little bit. Um, the maltiness is here. It's, uh, it's a good anchor for the beer. Uh, I'm still getting uh, maybe a lightly toasted bread type uh, malt flavor there and a, a slight sweetness. And then a, a, a nice, nice hoppy kick mid palate that lasts throughout the taste. Um, as I continue to talk, a nice resiny type um, after after flavor or nice resiny feeling um, is coating the tongue. Nice flavor coating the palate there, uh, kind of beckoning me to take another sip. Carbonation is a little higher in this type of beer. Or I, at least I should say higher than some of the other canned beers I've had as of late. When I take a sip, I'm tasting a lot of that. I'm getting a lot of the uh, CO2 in there. Um, so I'm just kind of sifting through that a little bit. But a uh, nice mal maltiness in here. And then a, a nice hoppiness as well. I wouldn't say it's... Uh, I would say it's kind of more... Maybe piney or floral. I, I, not too piney. Uh, we tried a, uh, I tried a, um, a pale ale the other day that was very, very piney. Um, this isn't, isn't too piney. I would kind of say more towards the herbal or the floral type uh, hop aromas, hop aromas, hop flavors. Yeah, but not a bad brew at all. Solid IPA. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Uh, I appreciate the, um, the, the, the characteristic of it in that it's, not as hot forward as some of the West Coast styles, but then not as malt forward as some of the East Coast styles. And definitely nothing like some of the New England style IPAs that we've seen. 
these uh, juice crazy um, type of brews. But uh, yeah, definitely solid IPA, nice, flavorful. Um, I would say even almost rich as I continue to, to sip on this beer. Lots of nice flavors in here. The nice maltiness um, kind of provides a, a good balance for that hoppiness. Um, they're kind of kind of almost they almost balance each other out completely uh, with with the final win to the hops at the end as that those flavors those aromas last uh, mid mid taste post taste and even and as I continue to talk the hoppy hoppy aromas and flavors are still there so not a bad here not not a bad here not a bad beer here by any means very solid IPA from Green Man. I really need to make my way up to this brewery. You know, I'm not too terribly far from Nashville, but haven't made it in there yet. It's definitely on the short list, so to speak. But uh, thank you guys so much for joining in for another edition of the Find Your Craft Show. Cheers to a great IPA, solid IPA. Cheers to Green Man, and you guys have a great night. Take care.